Hello, and welcome to AIT's comparison of an E3 processor versus an E5 processor. What processor is best for your dedicated server? Let's dig into the specifications and find out. Let's compare an Intel Xeon E3 1270V2, which is a quad-core 3.3 GHz processor, to an Intel Xeon E5 2690, 6-core, 2 GHz processor. Ironically, the E3 1270V2 will outperform a single E5 processor. This is because the E3 V2 is based upon the new Ivy Bridge architecture, where the E5 is based upon the older Sandy Bridge architecture. Also, be sure not to look solely at clock speed, as it is not a simple addition of the metrics of the processor speed. That is to say, you can't take the core speed plus the core speed plus the core speed plus the core speed, plus the core speed, core speed and get the number of gigahertz, and then compare that to an E5's number of gigahertz. However, the E5's do scale quite well, especially with multi-processors in a single server. And because an E3 can't do that, there's where your advantage comes on an E5 over an E3. So be mindful of applications and growth. If you believe that you'll need more horsepower in a server in a short amount of time, going with a single E5 processor in a server and adding a second processor at a later time may be a good way to upgrade without a complete reinstallation. Also be mindful of each situation. For example, if you're running a server that operates a hypervisor, your VPS node will probably run out of memory and disk I.O. before it'll run out of CPU horsepower. Feel free to reach out to our highly skilled sales representatives and sales engineers and let us know if we have a recommendation to help you fit your business.